That's a truck. It's a work truck. He's working somewhere, Sherry, so we got to make this snappy. He's probably working someplace close by, this guy. I'm just watching Garfield back as he's putting the boot on the car, making sure no one comes out running. Philadelphia can be a rough town. That's why I have to watch his back carefully. Unpaid parking tickets. Take it off. Okay. I need that off. We are not going to tow it. We're giving you a chance. Okay, I'm gonna go pay it right now. Okay. okay. All you have to do is call this number, give them the tag number, they'll tell you how much you owe. You got a Visa credit card or a debit card? I don't have a Visa credit card. Well, you have to go down to 913 right Phil. I'm saying I can't leave my truck here. I don't even know what this name is. Well, can't I mean, leave it on a payment. Can't leave it on a payment, they're gonna tow it. No, they're not gonna tow it. They're gonna leave it here. Mm -hmm. I'm taking that off. All right. I'm going to get a chop saw. I'm going to cut it off in two minutes. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it off. I'm not leaving that on her. He said he's going to cut it off. Right. Yeah. Ma'am, we're going to need a tow truck for this location. The owner said he was going to cut the boot off. No, he's kidding. He ain't going to it. OK, ma'am. We can't, we can't rely on that. Okay, well, you know, you can't I threaten can't to take, no, no, you can't no, threaten no. to cut a boot off and expect us to leave it. I'm going to get the pay for it right now. Sir, I can't help it. He said he was going to cut the boot off to the car radio and they're going to tow it. And he's not happy with that. But it's not my truck, it's my car. I, I understand that, but when I'm you make it. a threat That's to not... cut a boot off. I didn't even say that. The dude said that. Man. All right. <sighs> Don't get the baby and put the baby in the truck. Man, I don't know, Garfield. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, we have to tell it. Yeah, we have to tell it because you made a threat to take the boot off, no, sir. I didn't see that. I'm not okay. I can't leave it here, knowing that it's unsecure. That you may have to, that you may have tools to cut that off. Okay. Gonna get robbed, dude. Sir, the lot is secure. Mom. It's a locked lock. You are done, man. This guy is just a little bit too agitated for normal. He's not calming down. It just has to be towed for our safety and, and for, you know, for the safety of the boot. Oh, boy. He's a little scary, actually. He's a little scary. He's over there making obscene gestures. But they're unloading the truck and taking out all their personal stuff in there. Hello, how you doing? Yeah, this guy made threats right away to cut the boot off. When I heard you come on the radio, I heard the screaming in the back of This is apparently the mother who owns the truck, and she looks as angry as he does. Yes, ma'am. He's doing that now. I tried to explain it to him that if he had been calm, we were going to leave it here. But when he made a threat to cut the boot off, we can't leave it here. We can cut that off with the saw. He's got the tools. All it's going to cost you is what you have to pay in tickets, plus the boot fee. But you can go down to 913 Filbert Street. Can we leave it there, and I will go downtown with the boot on it? He's not going to. Once, once he made that threat, we can't do it. Once the tow truck's here, we, it's not up to us anymore. Yeah, I'm sorry, but. You got a wise man. We gotta go down and make rain. It's not her fault that the car's being towed. It's because he was a big mouth. If I can't do it, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm going to go Sometimes you gotta think before you speak. When you make a threat like that, it's just like telling somebody, I'm gonna punch you. Well, we can't take a chance. Very rarely have I ever been angry enough to actually take a poke at somebody. I'm pretty much a lover, not a fighter. Well, I don't know about him being a lover or a fighter. I'm married, so we don't get into all that. <laughs> this one is a Buick.
but we're trying to hurry up to get the device on before they come out. I'm watching his back to make sure no one runs up on him. And I'm looking at everything around us to make sure he's safe while he's putting the boot on. They could be trouble. Okay, you being booted. That's, 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 this, this, this is my car. This is, this is my car, though. I understand that, sir, my car, but you though. parking tickets. The car ain't even right. I just got it from the auction. I'm waiting for my title. This is my sister's tag. Well, whoever you got the tags from, they owe parking tickets. I can take the tag off. You That's not my tag. Field. You're going to have to straighten that out down nice and filbert. This is not even registered plate. Car, you cannot do that. Is. This car, I'm waiting for my title. I put a tag on it so I can wait for my, so my title to come back. The car's in my name. The tag is not in my name. I know. The tag don't even go to the we'll car. Run the tag so how do you put a boot on the car that the tag don't we'll go to? run the tags and come up boot. You're going to have to straighten that out though. with your But it don't come up to the car. I understand that. You're going to have to straighten it out with your Sorry, because y'all just booted my car for nothing. Well, he's pretty agitated. That's not my tag. I understand that. But you're going to have to go to 9th and Filbert and straighten that out. You should. Let me explain. If I go down there, they're going to tell me I got to pay tickets for the tag now. No, no. And I ain't got a ticket on this car from that tag. If you'll calm down, I'll explain it to you. I watched y'all. Y'all snuck back around the block, and then y'all just hopped out on my car. No, I'm watching y'all, because I was about to come move it, because I see what y'all was doing. We didn't know your car was a hit until it came back on the computer. We were already up around the block. I'm waiting for a title. Come here, and let me show you something. All we can do is run the tag that's on the car. All right, well, can you, can you, can so what can you, you got to do, I'll explain what you got to do. You don't have to pay anything. Nobody's asking you to pay somebody else's ticket, but you have to show them in the court that you bought this car. See, I gotta go to a courtroom and everything, see? You don't that's have to so go to a regular court. You go down to 9th and Filbert, they'll run the tag that was on the car, they'll see that it was not you, and they're not gonna make you pay somebody else's ticket. Yeah, they got a little upset. They claiming it's not their tags. Hopefully, Garfield can get through and calm them down. The car will stay here. You have time to go get it today. If you take care of that, you do not have to have it registered. But you got 30 days to have a car on the street. It I, says it on my paper. You got 30 days to have a car on the street. I understand that, and I'm not arguing that. When y'all punched up his tag, what came up? Look, all this shows is the license plate. This is just a laptop computer. All it has is tags in it and whether they should be booted or not. But that tag is not my name. What he's saying, and I can understand, if he just running by, he see the, the, the tag number and no make a model on it, then he, he just jumping out and say tag boot or no boot. So I can understand. It ain't really him. He doing his job. They done jacked the system up. Right. So they jam you up. So they're like, yeah. you can argue with him all day. He has no authority has to no do authority. anything. Yeah, I know he don't have no authority. So we, it's just the plain I, I see. Right. I know. Oh. I know. And on Lancaster Avenue, we have law classes that teach you and educate you about these situations so that you don't have to get into them. And if you do get into them, it costs you zero to get out of them. Legally, as long as you bought the car, that's fine. But you're going to have to sometime get it registered. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm waiting for the title on the mail. You know, it's well, that's why six weeks. You need to get a sign on there saying waiting for tags, make a copy of your pink slip or whatever so that you can leave the car on the street. But if you're if you're putting somebody else's tags on there, you don't know the history of that tag. I got a boot for her tag. For her tag. Well, it's a shame that she didn't say, look, I got tickets. Don't put that tag on the car. Well, we're getting the boot on, and we're going to lock it up, and he's going to have to get it registered. I don't owe no parking tickets, but I got a boot on my car. There's definitely a difference between legal and law, and what's happening here is legality. It's paperwork. You have this company contracted with the city assuming authority. Now you have a catch-22 with this brother here. Put the car out on the street. No plate. We're going to take it because it don't got a plate. You put a plate on there, they booted it because unlawful display of plate. You get the car from them, they take it right back from you, man. I feel bad for the guy because he bought the car legitimately from an auction, but you got to get it registered. These kind of things are a funny gray area that needs to be worked out uh, so that we can flourish and build, keep the morale going instead of hurting the working class. It's hard out here for people, man. If you don't do nothing about it but complain, then you don't get nothing. Now, take your pink slip down here and show them you just bought it. 
it was a little intimidating. The guy was pretty angry, but we calmed the situation down. And, you know, with eight or nine guys who were all agitated, this could have turned into something where we would need police. I gotta go down there now, huh? Yeah, I gotta go down there now, huh? So when you go in there, just tell them you want a boot hearing, and they'll hear you right away. Huh. If he don't take care of it by tonight, they will tow it by tonight. In my view, there are some flaws in the system, but we don't have the ability to change those flaws. And all we can do is the best help them understand that even though the system is flawed, it can be handled without anybody getting hurt. Nora, Edward? Yeah, at 22. You got tickets, buddy. What you mean? Bring it on. Whoever wants to get some, I tell them bring it on. I'm bring it on. I mean, you got tickets. I'll tell you everything in a minute. How you blocking me? How you putting the boot on my car? What's because that? you got tickets, buddy. What's going on, guy? Yo, yo, yo. Yo. This is a What happened? This is a Yo, 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 yo. What's going on? You got tickets. How many? Oh. Uh, we won't know until you call and find out. Excuse me. Yo, yo. Right now, this guy's trying to drive off. Well, whose right. car he gonna tear up? That one in front? Because this one ain't going nowhere. He gonna make it harder himself. You gonna have to pay for that boot. That's $400. It is? Yes. Get out right here. It's gonna be a tight wedge. Yo, call the cops. Uh, man, we have a priority. Citizen trying to drive off with the boot on his car. Let's call a knee jerk reaction. And then the cops gonna come, they gonna lock him up. Bring it on. <laughs> I tell them bring it on. If y'all don't care, don't come, bring it on. Being real foolish. So the cops are in Right now, all the guys are fine for the boot. How much is that? 400. 400. Nice. Crazy. That's another incident report. Yep. Damn. Yeah, this is a very dangerous job. Oh, this job's not for everyone. One of our customers coming in and say something happening outside. It's better this than a homicide or something. Somebody gets killed and stuff like that. That like happens all the time in this city. Cheeks saves his cheeks. I mean, he could have been ran over, or God forbid, you know, the guy could have pulled out a weapon. What you're supposed to do is if there was a car parked like this, you're supposed to park next to it and block it in. The clamp dug into the ground when he backed up, snapped it off. The boot probably is not really even damaged. But see, he hit the vehicle, so now you got a hit and run charge, and it wasn't even worth it. He also scratched that car right there. Beautiful. So now we just got to wait for a supervisor and the police to show up. You called Donna? Yeah, I called her on the radio. Yeah. We were booting the car. The guy jumped in the car. He backed into this car. Hit that car. Hit our van. Drove off. There was two of them, and one dude just stood there laughing. I don't know where the other guy went. At first, the other guy came up, which we thought was the owner. I told him to step back. Who's the guy looking like? Waiting up back now? No. He's probably parked somewhere right now, scared, saying, I should have never did that. Might end up going to jail. All he owed was a couple of hundred dollars. You gonna do all that for a couple of hundred dollars? Hey, Donna. Oh, sure. People are crazy. Just floored it and came through here, smashing the Whatnot. Sometimes it's very dangerous out here. This is a tough job. So he's handled it well. They at least got out of the way and didn't get hurt. You're okay. You're okay. My back hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a little crooked. And then if it's damaged, we just charge him. I'll take this with me. Whew. Well, leaving the scene of an accident was pretty bad. Luckily, nobody was hurt. You can't hit three cars and take off. Mm. The truck's not really damaged. They can still work. They're not damaged. They can still work. All right, guys, your truck is fine. My stomach hurt. Oh, Frank. <laughs> I can't stand much more of this excitement. I'm going back to my job at the prison. I'll be all right. The big boy, I'll be all right. You got to wait. <laughs> For now, we always get our man. Might not be the day, might not be the month, but it's going to be that one day 
When he's gonna park that vehicle, we gonna get him. We got him, we got him. That one came up. All right. Ma'am, this your car? Yes, ma'am, it is. Then bullet for non-payment. Parking tickets owed to the city of Detroit. This don't make no sense. I knew I had some tickets, but I ain't know I had enough tickets for no damn boot. <laughs> ain't nothing I can do right now, because they didn't put this on my car. When we find them, we boot them. Call this number right here. Give them your license plate. Tell them your car was booted. They'll tell you how much you owe and what you need to do in order to have a boot removed. Unfortunately, they're going to tell your car within an hour. Oh, ain't this some so on top of me getting the boot, yeah. the city of Detroit gonna charge me some more money for the towing fees. As soon as you take care of it, they'll call us. I'll come right back off and take it. She just gave me a phone number to call them. As fast as they put it on here, I want they sorry asses to come out here and take it off. I need to get this off my car. Where you see illegal parking at? Where's illegal parking? Do you see it? What you got was a boot for non-payment of parking tickets. It's not because you parked somewhere wrong. You were legally parked. I thought it was just for parking. I don't know about the ticket thing. OK, that's what I want to know, ma'am. Thank you. This is tickets and interest and late fees. They said if I pay $6.85 within an hour, they will take the boot off the car and not tow it. She said, I can't pay just my parking ticket. I got to pay all of this in order for me to take it off. We're waiting on a tow truck at this point because we're trying to tow this before the end of our shift. I'm waiting for a ride to go pay the ticket, but I'm sick of giving the city of Detroit my money because they are a rip off. They don't want us here. It's not the city's fault that you're getting parking tickets. It's because you feel like you don't have to obey the law. Trust me, God got his eyes on us all, and we will answer to him one day. You will answer. You're going to see his face, and I don't think you're going to like it. You can't sit God on people like he a dog. Moving cars is about paying a debt. Jesus Christ paid the debt for me when he went to the cross for us all. God ain't got nothing to do with this. You need to get God in your life. I go to church every Sunday. I really don't want to have a discussion or a debate about Jesus, because that's but one no, thing I don't debate no, about. Christ paid the debt. But the parking tickets wasn't included. He the one paid the debt. Do your job. Do your job. I'm doing my job. You have to repent. The Bible, they'll say, don't go boo the car. It says, oh, no one. Y'all thought you, you got a little authority that you can do whatever you want. It's not about my authority. Please don't get nasty with my mother, bro, because I will. Don't go there. I'm not trying to do anything wrong. I'm doing my job. Wrong is wrong. He knows. Don't use God like that. I don't have to meet God because I put a boot on your car. That is so dumb. Anyway, y'all done did your job. My thing is, this don't have nothing to do with nothing else besides we doing the job. We just here to collect. That's it. It's, it's just like, don't be disrespectful to my mother. Her. Come on. You need to get an attitude. I'm having, I'm having a conversation. Nor your voice now having a conversation with my mother. Nor your voice having a conversation with my mother. Your mother doesn't have a problem. I do. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your mother. Now you talking about I need to get God. Look at listen to your mouth. You need him. And I have him. I sure can't yes, tell. You wanna see him? Come on. Everybody come out your mouth ain't got nothing to do with God. So what? You ain't got to hear me mention him. Just harsh. So what? She not gonna be here disrespecting my mother. I don't give a what she doing and who she doing it for. If you felt offended, then I really gratefully apologize sincerely. Two wrongs don't make them right. You're absolutely right. They are doing their job. You can't run from problems. You have to stay and work your problems out. So what happened? They put a boot on my car, and then this out here clowning, acting a damn fool. But well, this is what they told me I had to come up with. It's the law. There's not much we can do. Why didn't you park in the parking lot? They're checking plates. Hold that thought, let me check no car. <laughs> I, don't, I don't take it, but I just okay. want to be sure. Most of the time, people do get tickets, and they act like they don't know, and we all know. This is what happens. It haven't even been an hour, and the tow truck people didn't already be here. Why? They ain't even trying to get people time to go pay the ticket, because they want some more money for the towing and the storage fees. <laughs> it's crazy. This is not how I plan.
plan for my day to be. Jesus coming back. He has the last word. I'm fed up. Detroit is headed to the pits of hell. I am going to dispute some of these, these late fees they claim. But my car will be picked up today. I wasn't arguing. I think that after having a discussion with the older lady, she realized that throwing out the whole God thing was not the way to go. I believe that we made her understand you got to pay your tickets.